For this video, I want to focus on a really cool Power Query M shortcut trick that I featured in other videos, but it may not have got the attention that it deserves because it was just a small part in a much larger solution. And I think this deserves some special attention. So this came up the other day. I've made this generic data set just to reflect the problem. But I've got a list of 10 sites, and I'm showing the sales of each of those sites in each of the five minutes of a day. So it starts from midnight and goes to 12.05, 12.10, 12.15, all the way across to 11.55 p.m. Now, 288 of these columns deal with whole number data. So the first column is a text-based column, but the remaining 288 columns are whole number columns. Well, let's see what happens when we pull this into Power Query and how Power Query is going to do the automatic data typing. So if I look on Table Design, the name of this table is called Time Sales. I'll go up to Data and pull data from a table or range. Now, if we expand the formula bar, look at the M code for this change type step. It's insane. And just so we can really see the scope of this problem, I'm going to go up to Advanced Editor, and now we can see more of the M code at once. And just look at this. This is nuts. Well, there is a way to shorten this. And when I say shorten, I mean by about 99%. Because what we can do is we can tell it what we want the first column's data type to be, which is text, but then say anything else that comes after that, no matter how many columns there are, just go ahead and data type them as whole numbers, or in this case, integer64.type. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to say done. And let's rename this query to individual data types. So this will be what the system wanted to do. I'm going to right click on that query and duplicate it. And I'll rename this one to bulk data types. Going into the advanced editor, I like to put spaces between each of my steps just for clarity purposes. I'm going to zoom in on this M code. And the trick is to not use a table.transform column types function, but just a table.transform columns. Now table.transform columns requires different types of arguments. The first is going to be the list of lists, that is the data types. Now all lists go in a set of curly braces, and since each data type is a list unto itself, like site is type text, that goes into a set of curly braces. But then all of the data types go into another set of curly braces. Since I only have one column that I'm going to specifically declare, that will be the entire list of lists. So I'll do another set of curly braces here. And so right here is my list of lists for all of the things that I'm going to declare. We can't use type text, the M code for defining the text data type. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that out and just use a different argument. And that is the text.from argument. So depending on the data type you want to use, you might need number.from or text.from or logical.from or binary.from. I'll show you the list in just a moment. So now that we have our list of lists for our manually declared, anything not manually declared, we want to assign with a default data type. And that's where we can take all of these individual int64.type assignments, take all of these and delete them. So anything outside of that lists of lists will be defined by the same data type, and that's whatever is declared here. And in this case, I want it to be an integer 64 data type. Now I can't use the int 64.type declaration. So just like before when we switched it from type text to text.from, we're going to switch it from int 64.type to int 64.from. So site will be declared as text, everything else will be defined as a whole number. I'll hit done, and I get the exact same result. So here's the individual data types with all that M code. You can see all of that here. And then here's us assigning those in bulk. So the choice is you can either define every one of these entries individually, or you can perform a bulk assignment. I don't know about you, but I think this looks a lot better. By the way, the list of default data types that you could choose from is here. So any of these are fair game to use either as an individual assignment to a column or for the bulk assignment for all undefined columns. With this trick, hopefully you can make your code a lot shorter. Feel free to download this file from the link in the video description and let me know what you think of this. Thanks for watching. And remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.